Look, what I'm going to explain is the basis of how the musculoskeletal system works. You've got to understand this, and then a lot of other things will become clear in terms of trigger points. And what, what the basic structure is, is that you've got bone here, you've got a tendon, you've got muscle, tendon, joining into bone again. And each of these is so different from the other. This is what's so interesting. You start off with the bone. This is bone, which is hard. If you knock it, it makes a sound. And it's got calcium in it. And it doesn't bend. It's really, really rigid. Joining to that is the tendon. And the tendon is smooth. It's glistening. It's white. And it's made of stuff called collagen. And the collagen is a whole lot of really fine, like tightly um, coiled little springs. So you could imagine it like a tightly wound rope. So the rope is joining into this hard bit and the rope then comes along and it joins into the muscle. And the muscle is the most fascinating because it's the powerhouse of the area. And what muscles do is that they contract and they contract with huge power. So if you take this structure here, as the muscle contracts, it shortens. So we've got a muscle shortening and it will pull on both ends. This end in this little system, this end doesn't move. So this end is, but there's pressure right across the join here. There's a lot of tension. You can see how the tendon has actually become quite narrow there. A lot of tension where the tendon joins into the bone. On the other side, there's actually a little joint here. So as the, this tendon is going to pull, and what actually happens is this will pull the wrist upwards. So that's the process. As the muscle contracts, you lift your wrist up. Now sometimes you've got something in your hand and if you're holding something really heavy then this has to pull really hard or if you're doing a movement again and again and again say you're working at a keyboard or you are um, uh, playing say tennis something like that then what happens is that this stress occurs again and again and again and Somewhere along, this uh, somewhere along this structure, things are going to run into trouble. Stuff's going to happen. The commonest thing that occurs is the weak areas are where the muscle joins into the tendon, here and here, and where the tendon joins into the bone. So if the stress is too great, you often get a tear along here. And these are tears that we all know You've been, you're running too hard, you trip, and something goes in the muscle, and you get a tear. This is the common place, it'll tear. You'll have swelling, it'll be sore, and it heals. There's a great blood supply. These tears tend to heal. The second area is where the tendon joins into the bone, and that usually occurs with recurrent work. So you're sitting at a, at a, a keyboard, working away, doing lots of tiny little lifting movements and playing sport like tennis. The reason I'm saying tennis is that pain in this area is the classic pain is the problem of tennis elbow or its proper medical word lateral epicondylosis because this is this bit of bone is called the lat lateral epicondyle and what you get is lots of tiny little tears in this area because it doesn't have a good blood supply and because it's constantly stressed, this can be a major problem and difficult to settle down. So you have problems here, you can have a problem in the tendon itself, you can have a problem at the musculotendinous junction, and finally you can have problems in the muscle itself, which is, as I said, is the powerhouse. And the problems in the muscles are trigger points. Therefore, if you have pain and the pain occurs right over the bone or really close to the bone, that is not a trigger point. That is 
a problem with the muscle with the, with the joint of the tendon into the bone if you have a problem really close a little bit lower down from the bone it'll feel like there's a really thick firm cord underneath your finger that's the tendon and that's not a trigger point it's only in the muscle tissue itself which is the meat literally the meat of the muscular tendinous system that trigger points occur now we're going to look in more detail at what a trigger point actually is.